So we got a copy of, is it Keo? Keo. Keo Flying Squadron for the Sega CD. My and God. It is spoken for. This is going to Sam. It is mint. It is the so, mintiest copy I have ever seen in person in my life. <laughs> it is Over, mint. It's the mintiest copy any of us copy. have ever seen. <laughs> That's true. I've only so, seen one copy. Sam was bidding on one of these on eBay last night and he got outbid. And he's like, he was so disappointed. He was texting me all day about it. <laughs> and the guy that had the Panzer Dragoon Saga, we, you know, he sent us some pictures of stuff and he's like, oh, do you need this game? And we were like, holy crap. And so. Well, he asked I'm, verbally if we wanted it. Yeah. We, we hooked him up. We, <laughs> we didn't think that he had it. He just asked if we needed it first. It's true. But uh, I texted Sam and I was like, do you, do you still want that game? Like, what, like, would you, do you still want it? And he's like, yes, definitely. So we made the deal. We got this for Sam. Neither of us, neither of us, like John or myself, nah, neither dude. of us have this in our collection. No. Nope. We would both have liked to get this, but <laughs> I felt like it was perfect for us to get this for Sam. I think so too. He just got outbid on that one. And then he just bought Panzer Dragoon Saga last night. And then we <laughs> found one today that for cheaper than what he paid. And I yep. felt bad about that. So when this was an option, I was like, we got to get this for Sam. It'll be amazing. You know so. that you thought about getting it for yourself. Well, of course, but, <laughs> but you're like, that's too much money. <laughs> of course, I would keep it if we found it. If it got traded in the store or something, I would keep it. But it's really cool to be able to hook up a friend like that. So, agree. Sam's getting this uh, along with everything else that we picked up for him. Um, oh, but man. so we're coming back. We're coming back tomorrow with a U-Haul trailer that we have to rent to get the rest of the kiosks and. Uh, from there, we're going to be continuing on. So, more stuff. Right now is tomorrow's vlog, basically. I'm going to cut this so that you guys don't see this video in yesterday's vlog. Damn. So, um, in the rest of this vlog, you're going to see us continue on to hitting up some more stores. I don't know how many, but we're going to hit up a few more at least. Yeah. And then we're going to begin our drive home, which is not going to be fun. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to split it up because yeah. driving home would be another vlog of just driving, and I don't want to do that. But we're starting that, we're starting the drive home. So, a couple more stores. We're gonna get some food right now, go to the hotel, get some sleep, and then wake up and continue on. Do it all again tomorrow. So we are in the hotel room right now, and I was gonna film an outro, I just realized actually this is technically in the middle of the vlog. <laughs> so, we're gonna, I gotta get yesterday's vlog edited, but we're going to get to bed, and then we're gonna start tomorrow. We have some more stores to hit up, and hopefully, I mean, what if we find more kiosks or more signs? That'd be crazy. Right. Either way, I think that we're gonna have a good day tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Ah. Even if we don't find anything <laughs> super cool. Abby trying to scare me. <laughs> so, it'll be five seconds for you, eight hours for us. Time to go to bed. Welcome to the next morning and welcome to our U-Haul trailer. <sighs> we got the GameCube kiosk out of the car. It is now in there. It is ratcheted down. And we got everything reorganized in here. So now we have plenty of room for everything else that we need. So we're about to get going back to that store, get our other kiosks. Are you excited? I would be more excited if I wasn't so hot. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. All right. Got some pickups. From the same place. <laughs> All same pro place football, 2K8, five bucks. Curse Mountain, complete in box, five bucks. <laughs> Monster seed. I got dragon seed yesterday, so I got monster seed today. Good deal. And this is this was a big one. Clock tower, complete in box. Finally got that one. It was Back only 70 bucks too. Cheap. And then this bad boy. Yeah. Thrown on the shelf at home. That's six, super cool. Six button arcade stick, complete in box, super clean. Great deals over here, man. Awesome. What'd you get, Jackie? Alright, so I got Lost in Blue 2 and 3 for the collection. I got also for the collection Complete in Box Oregon Trail for the Wii. This is super uncommon and I've been looking for it for a long time. So I'm really stoked on that. Those and then I've kind release. of been looking for this game for a while and obviously Atlas stuff. So I picked up an Odin Sphere. And then I'm pretty into D&D. So I also got myself a really cute set of dice. They're pink and they come in a little castle. Awesome. You want to yeah. take that? So. <clears throat> Picked up the Final Fantasy XI Online big box with the hard drive. Also got a copy of Pikmin for GameCube. Sonic Adventure 1 for the Dreamcast. Got the little bonus disc. Two complete copies of Vandal Hearts. And then 
also Dokapon for the Game Boy Advance. And then finally, three of these Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D like reusable bags. He threw these in for free and then because of their little reward system, I had five 10% off things that we were able to use all in one transaction. So my total went from like 190 down to like 114, mm -hmm. which was super awesome. This place is really cool. This is the it Desert Sky Games. It was 200 something. Yeah. Good deals all around over here. We yeah. love this place. If you're, if you're in this area, definitely come to Desert Sky Games. This place is amazing. Their hours do vary because of COVID though. So call ahead. <sighs> <laughs> we got everything in. The awesome. The are in the vehicle. Yeah, so definitely, we've already said it, but definitely check out Desert Sky out Games. Best store we've been to so far. Hands down. <laughs> I mean, every store is cool. Yeah, every store is cool, but this one, yeah, this one's legit. This they, is awesome. They've been amazing, yeah. So we were driving down the road, and all of a sudden, the trailer dropped, and it started dragging on the ground. So we got it fixed. Luckily, a guy stopped and helped us out, but... Basically, the pin that holds the hitch in came out, and the whole hitch came out of the back of the truck, and it fell. And the chains caught The it. chains were the only thing, like, keeping it attached. There's no emergency brake. Yeah, it was kind of scary. But luckily, a guy stopped, scary. and he had a he had a pin for us, and got it put back in. But, uh, yeah, that was super, super scary. But we just went to Payway, got some food, and now we're at another Fallout Games location. So, we better find some cool stuff to make up for all this. I really hope we do. Let's check on the stuff real quick. Let's make sure it's all safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Little shift. Wow. No, no, the straps came off. Oh. Holy crap. Uh, your, your kiosk is good. It hasn't moved. That's probably why. These were all up against the wall. Strapped in. And that was they attached were strapped right down here. here. That thing moves though, which is what thing? This this little thing like moves around. Yeah, but I did it tight. Well, let's put them back. All right, we got everything in the trailer fixed again. Time for Fallout. All right, so we just left that Fallout Games. This is the third of the four locations. We should be hitting up the last one. Um, so we got some N64 games. We got two copies of Polaris Snowcross for five bucks a piece. We got Top Gear Hyperbike for $4, NBA In The Zone 2000 for $5, and then Chameleon Twist 2, going for $26. I, did, I looked at it at first and I was like, no, I'm not going to get it, but then I looked it up and it's almost $40 bucks now. I also got Kickmaster for the NES, kind of a hard one to find. Got another gold Wii Classic Pro Controller. We have Doom for the Atari Jaguar, and then for Sam, we picked up Dark Wizard for the Sega CD. Yeah, I got a couple things here. Marvel Land on Sega Genesis. Uh, 26 bucks, and it's like $50, so that was a really good deal. And the only other two things I got were two factory sealed copies of NCAA Football 11 from the PS2. Good deal on these. <laughs> yeah, go next spot. Next spot, let's go. All right, we just got to the next Fallout location. This is the last of the four. And I think we have two, at least two more stores after this. that was actually going to be our last stop because we need to get on the road um but uh it's didn't, 5 we didn't get as much stuff here but picked up sword of hope for 12 bucks which was pretty cool we have ray crisis for ps1 which i'm very happy to have gotten that one that's for the store that's a cool cover art and then got one for the collection finally we got metabots meta b complete in box for 50 dollars a cartridge goes for 45 <laughs> and this is in pretty good shape um so Pretty happy about that. Finally got something for the collection. Yep. I got one game, Psychic Force, on the PlayStation. Super uncommon game, been looking for it for a while. Stoked. 
And then the one thing I got was a 30th anniversary Year of Luigi Club Nintendo statue. Oh, you got that? It's yeah. super cool, and I'm so stoked to have this. Man. I've never seen one in person before. So cool. That is so cool. Oh, God. And then I got the God of War Collector's Edition. <laughs> and the Elder Scrolls. And sealed. that's what we got. Bye. Let's go. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this vlog right here because all we have left to do is drive. We're going to be driving basically overnight. So I'll film something for tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be, but I'll at least ha have something to upload for you guys.